Welcome to this tutorial in which we will be learning how to create a particle system in Niagara by converting it from a particle system in Cascade. So let's jump into it and look at it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is essentially what we will be creating today. You can see this icon over here, which is a Cascade system. This one has been converted to a Niagara system, and you can see the Niagara uh, icon over here. And they look identical currently. So this is everything that we will be going through today, how to create a Niagara system from a Cascade system by using the converter. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. Now this will look the same in 4.27 and in Unreal Engine 5 as well. The very first thing we want to do is make sure that we go to Edit and Plugins and then type in Niagara. And you'll see you'll have this Cascade to Niagara converter. You'll click to enable it and then you restart and we'll see you back here. Now that we have restarted the editor, we're now ready to convert systems. However, I want to preface this with a few things. So one of the things is this plugin if you didn't notice let's go here and show you it says it's a beta version it means that this is not meant to you're not supposed to rely on this there will be probably a released version at some point which will be working much better than this one but currently this is what we have to work with so that's one thing to keep in mind another thing is that we'll just be going through one example today so it won't be showing you all and any kinds of errors that you might have in the conversion process. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And this is more like a cursory look into how to create it so that if you have an effect in Cascade and you wanted to bring it to Niagara because you want to make use of one of the many strengths that Niagara has available to it, then this could be a way for you to try and do that because it's much easier to do a conversion rather than recreating it from scratch. Now, with that said, let's just jump into this. So let's pick a, a particle system here. All of these are uh, Cascade particle systems. So if we drag this one out here, for example, you'll see what it looks like. It sort of uh, creates this illuminated uh, blue cascade of light in a few different directions. Uh, so the process to convert this now is pretty simple. All we have to do is right click on one of these systems and convert to Niagara system. It will immediately create a Niagara system for us here, which will get a default name of the name of what you created and then have converted in the end as a suffix. We can save and we can drag this out into the world. And you can see that nothing happens initially. This is because the Niagara system is not com compiled. So if we go in here and compile, and save it once, we can go out into the world and we can see that something is happening now. However, it's not looking like the original system. <clears throat> now, this is the first part of the conversion. You are most likely to run into errors of or errors or warnings in this conversion process. So here we can see what the system looks like and it has created a bunch of emitters for us that it has put in a line for us. So if we were to move this around a little bit, give us some space and look at the first emitter here. The first thing I want you to notice is that we have these exclamation marks saying that we have errors. We also have yellow ones that are showing us warnings. And these are put throughout the system depending on what kind of conversion it was unable to create. So if we were to click on the system, you can see here on the right, we have a bunch of things. One of the things that you can note over here is the the little error exclamation mark in the top. By clicking on this one, it will scroll through the different errors, it, errors and warnings that it has encountered. And this is where part of the strength of the Niagara system is because it will help you a lot on the way to figuring out what errors that you have and how to fix them. So if we start off here, we can see that the first thing we get here is that the emitter is GPU, but the fixed bounds checkbox, let's give this a little bit more space so we can see the entire message. Uh, the checkbox is not set. Please update the emitter or system properties, otherwise existing values or for fixed bounds will be used. So this one is just a matter of clicking in the fixed bounds and that 
warning is gone. Then we can go to the next one. This one says acceleration force. This module has unmet dependencies. The following post, post dependency is not met. And then it describes that solve forces and velocity needs to happen after this acceleration force for it to be able to take effect. And in this case, it's very, very simple. We could either drag this acceleration force module to above the solve forces and velocity, or we can just click on the fix issue and it will do it for us. So now it has moved it up here. Continuing along, you can see that we get another one here saying that spawn rate unspecified error skipped converting B apply global spawn rate scale. Acknowledge and clear this issue is the only available option we have here. And this is most likely uh, something that has changed that the converter hasn't been able to properly translate to the Niagara system. In this case, it should be fine to just ignore. And you can now see that this specific emitter doesn't show any errors anymore. Compiling and saving this, we go out into the world. We can now see that parts of the system is now working like the original is doing. And in this specific one, what we have is just looks like eight identical uh, emitters going in different directions. So I'll just be going through these and uh, fixing the exact same errors uh, because I believe they're the same. If I encounter a different one, I'll uh, continue recording from there. But otherwise, we'll resume after I have fixed all of these emitters. Here we are. I've gone through all the different emitters. They had identical errors on all of them since they're just duplications of each other. Compiling this, saving it and going out into the world now, we should be able to see that the new Ni Niagara, Niagara system is now identical to, to the, the original Cascade one to the left. Now I want to really drive this home that this might not be uh, representative of what kind of errors or problems you run into when you're converting something. You might get less errors, you might get more errors, you might get completely different errors. Hopefully most of the time uh, Niagara will give you warnings and errors that will guide you to understanding what you need to fix. <clears throat> but there might be times when you run into issues that are not actually solvable in the way that the converter is currently working. Anyway, I hope that all of this made sense and that you were able to follow along and that this will be useful to you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.